Hey there, Steve Krivda here, and today's topic is going to be using social media as a residual prospecting tool. You know, I heard somebody say the other day that prospecting on social media is dying, if not dead already. And I'm going to tell you what, I think that's insane. So if you're struggling or if you're having a hard time enrolling or or sponsoring people from social media, stick with me for a couple minutes here. I'm going to share with you four tips. It's going to help you start in, in, you know, engaging the leaders and start attracting the type of person that you want into your business. You see, your social media platform is a direct reflection of you. So be that ray of hope for people. You know, be that fun, freedom, and fulfillment that our industry portrays and has been giving to so many people um, throughout the world. So actually, that leads us right into tip number one, and that's being uh, uh, posting inspirational posts and posting personal development stuff. You know. <sighs> Something I'm seeing dwindling in our society is that people are thinking that their their dreams are getting further and further out of sight, and that they're just not a reality. And this it's just um, it's just sad. It makes me unhappy to see that people are just letting go of their dreams because they don't think they're possible. Be that hope that people are looking for. It is our responsibility to give people that hope. Okay, our industry makes dreams come true. So. Be the inspiration, post the inspirational post, and uh, if you come up with something cool, don't be afraid to put that down on there and put a little tag on yourself. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is to use your product. You know, if you're if you're a weight loss pro if you have a weight loss product and you know you're having gains or if you've had weight loss, say that hey man, I, I'm so excited that I've lost 10 pounds in the last two weeks. This is so awesome. That's an awesome post. People are going to want to know how you did it, and then what you do is you private meshes them. Okay, or man, I've been on three vacations in the last six months. I never thought we could afford this. I'm so grateful. This is exciting. Pretty cool stuff. Or man, this is awesome. I can't believe that I saved twenty percent on my cell phone bill. This has been the greatest month. It's all curiosity-based stuff. You know, leave our leave our names out of the post. Okay, let people ask questions. All right. So that's tip number two. Tip number three is, you know, when you're posting your marketing tips, or I'm sorry, post marketing tips, and when you're posting them, be relatable to people. So if you're posting a tip and it says, you know, you must you must produce seven pieces of content every single week, and they have to be three minutes long, and da 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 da, and all this, you know. Basically, a long laundry list of, of work that people have to do. That's not relatable. They're going to be like, "That's way too hard. I don't want to do it." And um, so, the heck with that. <laughs> you know, a more relatable post would be something like, um, "Consistency is king. The more consistent you are, the the better that your results are going to be." You see, we have to remember that you know, m the majority of the people in our industry have been in between three and nine months. So remember back when you were in that in that moment in in that in that mode of thinking that's your tips simple quick easy tips something people can relate to and perform and do really quick and easy okay tip number 4 is to man using hashtags in your company name again you're giving away the farm when you're prospecting and talking to people and you're trying to raise curiosity if you're like hashtag world ventures hashtag acn hashtag isogenics you know your people are going to be like oh, i already know what you're doing so i'm staying away from you you know when you're using hashtags, it's cool to use your team name. Like um, my team name is Team Start Living, or there's different teams like you know um, Team Go For It or Team Empire. I think that's kind of cool, you know, and, and it raises interest and it also shows that you have culture. Okay, so those are my tips, guys. And check this out. Tomorrow, come back and I'm going to share with you my three. The, the, the three biggest social media no-nos that I've been seeing a lot of lately, and I think you're going to dig it. So swing by tomorrow and pick up that video as well. So I appreciate you. Hope you got some value out of this. And uh, if you did, like, share, and leave me a comment. And, and also, um, you know, one of the hottest things right now, that, and not a whole lot of people know how to use it yet, is Instagram. So if you want to know how I've been enrolling people and getting leads and all this kind of great stuff and, and great results from Instagram, you can go to stevecrypta.com forward slash Instagram recruiting and you can pick up that free training um, every day of the week. So I appreciate you and um, have an awesome day. Bye bye.